Dr. B, pediatric neuropsychologist. And I'm Katherine Mutes, licensed professional counselor. And welcome to Let's, Let's Talk. Talk. So, as you can see, we are festive. Yay, because we have made it into another year. Yes, 2019. Woo <laughs> and so, what we were talking, wanted to talk to you guys about today is the idea that something that many of us do every year. Do you do? This area <laughs> every year right this is a time when we start making those new year's resolutions right we start thinking about all the things about ourselves that we want to change do better this year stop doing this year who we're gonna let go this year how much <laughs> money we're gonna save this year and all these wonderful things so today dr. B and I wanted to just give you a few tips on how to maximize your New Year's resolutions this year. Mm -hmm. The first tip is to minimize the resolutions <laughs> in order to maximize them. <laughs> so what we mean by that is, um, in, in place of having a long list of things that you want to change, you want to lose weight, you want to be more friendly, you want to um, read your Bible more, you want to, uh, in, instead of having many 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 resolutions narrowing that down to either one or two um, very important things that you would like to change um, in the new year absolutely number for one it takes the pressure off of you to being so spread thin and scatterbrained about what it is that you're trying to do and the second thing that it does for you is it is it allows you to just focus your energies and to be able to track very well how well you're doing in that one or two things, right? Because everything that we think that we want to do isn't necessarily high priority for us. And sometimes when we lump all of those things together and one thing doesn't work out, we throw the whole thing out, right? So if you want to, you know, eat better plus lose weight plus um, give up candy plus give up caffeine plus give up sugar <laughs> and then something doesn't happen and, you know you go back into work and they have the office party because somebody's birthday or whatnot and you have a piece of cake and you go oh, forget it let me just mm -hmm. and then we throw our whole resolution yeah. out of the door because we have them all too tied into one another so definitely limiting to one or two most important resolutions for right. us is absolutely a great idea exactly and and in limiting those resolutions, you want to think about timelines and giving yourself enough time to um, to meet that resolution, not putting um, unrealistic expectations on yourself in regards to the time. Um, and, I, and it's important to establish a time. Absolutely. Um, because again, the more specific, we've talked about goal setting before, mm -hmm. the more specific that your goal can be, um, the higher likelihood of you attaining that goal. Um, but it has to be realistic or you may find yourself saying, oh, well, I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you kind of just throw everything out of the right. window. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so there's a lot of uh, statistics that I think come out just about every year. And it says somewhere around February or like early February, people chunk out, for example, one of the biggest goals is to go to the gym, mm -hmm. right? And people pay for these memberships to these gyms and then by mid-February, they're not even going anymore. Mm -hmm. And and I think it, it's because we have these, these ideas of, you know, we, we go, we hit it really hard without the understanding that sometimes we have to stretch those things out. And so being very clear and being um, intentional about those goals and understanding those steps to meeting those goals. Mm -hmm. So saying that, you know, I'm going to lose 20 pounds by March. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it <laughs> but when you look at the end of January and you've actually put on two pounds, it might make you discouraged about getting to to the goal that you've actually set for yourself so having good realistic timelines i think are they are very very helpful and you may also deal in like percentage or if you're if it's not something that can be on a timeline decreasing something or in, increasing something mm -hmm. you know instead of i usually participate in this activity once or twice a week and i'm going to do that three or four times a week now or you know I usually participate to do this behavior three or four times a week I'm going to reduce it mm -hmm. to once or twice a week that's another way to kind of manage um, 
the um, if it's not a specific timeline, but it's about the frequency. Absolutely. Yeah. So great tip. One uh, the third tip that we have for you guys is to share your resolution with a trusted friend or support. Mm -hmm. Not everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't 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 tweet out your New Year's resolution. I mean, you can. I wouldn't. <laughs> Me <either. laughs> But definitely to have a trusted person in your life, whether it's whether it's um, a family member, friend, spouse, um, counselor, therapist, somebody that can help hold you accountable and also help you to get through the tough spots. Because inevitably when we are making changes, it's our it's in our nature to fall back into habits that are comfortable for us. Mm -hmm. And so as we make those change, having someone there to help root us on or to help say, hey, now should you really be eating that snicker if you're trying to lose uh, lose this weight by X, X amount or this amount of weight period. And so just really having someone that, that's there that supports us, that cares for us, and, and loves us enough to hold us accountable to the uh, resolution that we've set for ourselves. Yeah, I think you said that very well. <laughs> well, so we're, just to review the tips that we have for New Year's resolution, to maximize your resolutions, minimize your resolutions. So one or two very important resolutions for you in 2019. Also, um, having a realistic timeline mm -hmm. um, or having a setting a frequency for which you want to increase or decrease activities, behaviors, etc. Um, and finally, finding a person that you trust and who has your best interest in mind to um, share this information with um, so that you'll have some accountability and support. Um, yeah, those are our New Year's resolution tips, and we wish you all the best in, yes. um, in meeting your goals for the new year. Absolutely. So, Happy New Year to you guys. We hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has been, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you share it with someone who could find these tips useful. And don't forget to drop us a comment in the comment section um, about this video or other topics that you'd love to see from us here in 2019. Yeah been great talking with you. We'll see you next time.